Chops here with a Team Ghetto Racing tech update for you. One of the things people don't realise is it's really important to stay on top of your tyre pressures, but more importantly the composition of your air in your tyres. So today I'm going to take you through one of the most crucial steps that can happen. So here in Australia, specifically in Canberra, we're just coming into summer, a really lovely day, 33 odd degrees Celsius, so about a million Fahrenheit, and getting really hot. Now I've just been commuting on my bike and I don't often check the tyre pressures so the last time I filled these tyres up was actually in the depths of winter and we get really cold winters here so the air in these tyres is currently my winter air that I filled in about six months ago and this winter air can give you dangerous tyre pressure spikes so now we're into this warm summer day much denser winter air in the tyre can have a look at the tyre pressure and we can see what happens for commuting I run about 36 psi and here we can see it's nearly 50. So that's the sort of danger, be a danger to yourself and other road users. So obviously you could bleed that down, but I think it's much more important to um, get the composition correct. So just grabbing yourself a valve core removal tool. We just rip in there and we rip out that valve core. So You'll also note that the bike is actually suspended up in the air. I've put it on paddock stands. And the reason for that is if you're going to take out this tyre pressure, it's really dangerous to have the tyre unsupported. So made sure we've supported it. So we're doing everything here correctly. Health and safety is, of course, paramount. So make sure you hold the valve core in very carefully as you push it in and pull it out. Um, you don't want it flying out and hitting you in the face. So now we've bled out all of that air. Now it's important to fill it. Now a lovely uh, warm day like today, low humidity, we could just use a pretty standard kind of, you know, bike, uh, bike pump, but that's a bit tedious for everyone to watch. Uh, so instead what we'll do is we'll use my compressor, which has got a dryer and, you know, with this sort of thing, it's uh, pretty crucial to make sure we don't have too much water going in the tyres. So this gauge is woefully inaccurate, but we'll just we'll pump it right up. Make sure we've got heaps of pressure going into it. Uh, still need heaps more. So I'm going to run about 36 like I do in the front for commuting. It's pretty much perfect. I uh, need a bit more. That could be close, but um, let's check it here with this gauge. Oh, 44, a bit too high. So just bleed that down. Now it's really good if you can um, pump your tyre up too high and then bleed it down. It helps to soften up the tread. Gives you that little bit more grip when you're out hitting Mount Mac or um, some other twisty road. There we go, we're at 37, so you can just drop it down a little bit more. There we go, 36 PSI, pretty much perfect. So um, with that done, you're now ready with the correct air composition. Now obviously, Northern Hemisphere, you'd at the moment be putting in your winter tyre pressure. Um, can be a lot more crucial to um, watch out for humidity on those cold days where you can have much higher relative humidity. Um, you might be getting in more moisture. So there we go, job done. So with that done, time to have a beer that matches your wheels and um, catch you next time.